What's going on, Buff Nation? Don't rank us, please. We, 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 we don't like that. We, we. As much as Coach Prime had to plea that he did not want this to happen, unfortunately for him, it did. We got a few fun topics to talk about today from the Colorado Buffaloes now being ranked in the top 25. Travis Hunter doing something that nobody else has ever done in Big 12 history. And an additional award given to a Colorado player this week by the Big 12. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite snack. Let's dive into this here on the prime time for college football. This video is powered by our partners over at BetUS. Check them out. They're hooking up the gamer. 150% bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000 by using promo code YouTube150. So, Travis Hunter, Colorado, Isaiah Gustav have all done some cool stuff. Got some awards this week, got some recognition this week. Everything that I know, Colorado fans would like to see. Being 6 and 2, one of the best teams in the Big 12, Colorado just now got themselves ranked. In the top 25. So Colorado comes in at number 23 in the AP poll. And you just heard Coach Prime say it. He didn't want to be ranked. He enjoys the disrespect. He enjoys being the villain. Because proving everybody wrong. Is always more satisfying. Than anything else. And what Colorado's done is. That's all they've been doing. Is proving everybody wrong. Now that they're guaranteed to be bowl bound. Prime has already mentioned. Playoffs is not in their mindset. Not even what they're thinking about. One game at a time, because the focus here is to continue to win over and over and push deeper and deeper into Big 12 title contention, game by game. But the Buffs get recognition, so 23 in the AP poll, but in the coaches poll, Colorado is right there at about 26. They're one point behind Memphis to hit the top 25. So the coaches still aren't respecting what Colorado's doing to the point that they still have Memphis up there. Even though Memphis is 7-1, they deserve props. But they did not put the buffs into the top 25. Thought that was interesting, but it's cool. We know that Colorado has a great opportunity here to continue to prove everybody wrong. By week to rest in preparation for the next game. I think that the buffs here... Traveling to Texas Tech will have the opportunity. A, a win at Lubbock will quiet everybody down. And we'll definitely, you know, we'll be covering it. We'll get y'all the spread once it's available. Speaking of spreads, let's talk about our partners. Bet US, thank you for sponsoring the channel. They are hooking you up. The Gamer, 150% bonus on your first deposit up to $2,000. hundred and 25% on your second and third deposits when you use our promo code YouTube150. So if you're looking at, you know, getting into the action, Travis Hunter and Shador Sanders are still listed on there for the Heisman odds. Great opportunity to go in there and snatch them up because, look, there's a good chance that one of them is going to be competing to go to New York to be, you know, possibly enshrined as a Heisman. And if you think that they have a chance, jump in there. Hop in there because BetUS is hooking you up. They also give you gambler's insurance. They give you 10% back on your net losses twice a year. Nobody else in the industry is doing that. So check them out. 150% bonus on your first deposit. 125% on your second and third deposits by using our promo code YouTube150. BetUS, where the game begins. So let's talk about records. Travis Hunter did something that nobody else has ever done. Isaiah Gustav got himself an award too. Let's talk about Isaiah first, and then we'll give you the big reveal of Travis Hunter. So stick around. We'll be here in just a moment. But Gustav got newcomer of the week from the Big 12. So he got that award. Colorado finally got a run game going. Y'all know we talk about that a lot here on the channel. We want Colorado to have an established run because that helps with the pass game down the road. Run games do travel. And so the defenses, and that's going to do nothing but help take a little pressure off Shadur to where he can continue to be the sniper that he's been. But Augusta, 22 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown gets him newcomer of the week. And the Buffs are just doing nothing but stacking up awards. And then from there, you got Travis Hunter. Now, this is the big story of the week, and this is why we put it to the end 
want y'all to check this part out. Travis Hunter, first player in Big 12 history to win offense and defensive player of the week honors in a season. Nobody else in the Big 12 has done it. And so what Travis did was in week three, he got defensive player of the week. He had five tackles, an interception, and a pass defended. That was against Colorado State. Now, that was that was pretty huge. But I'm going to be honest, a little disrespectful, because I feel like he probably should have got offense that week as well. Now, there may have been some better ones, totally understand, but he had 13 catches for 100 yards and two touchdowns in the same game that he had five tackles, an interception, and a pass defended. Feels like that should have been an opportunity to do both in one week, but it wasn't. Don't worry. There'll be more opportunities in conference play for Travis to do that. And I sense that he's going to be able to find a way to get both in the same week. But he got Offensive Player of the Week this week. Nine catches, 153 yards, two touchdowns. Defensively, though, he was cooking. Four passes defended to go with his two tackles. Now, I don't know if y'all know how insane that is. But four, four passes defended is nasty. I think the top guy in the Big 12 right now in passes defended has 12. And that's through, what's that, eight games or nine games, depending on on that. That's absurd. He got four in one game. Four in one game. Travis Hunter cooking in that capacity. And so getting offensive and decent player of the week in one season, nobody else has done it in Big 12 history. That, to me, makes him stand out as possibly one of the greatest players ever play in the big 12 and he's standing out we all know how electric and how great he is now the question is is that will he truly get an opportunity for the heisman and making a trip to new york i'm hoping so there's no reason not to but he's just got to continue to stay healthy now at this point he's got to pad them stats up man he's got to get some old 10 10 catch games and uh, and touchdowns to go along with it. He's going to have to do all of that. He's going to he's going to have to get himself into the 100 catches, 1000 over 1000 yards and he's probably going to have to get a, a few more interceptions. He's going to have at least 6 interceptions if not closer to 10. If he gets 10, he's got it. He's going to have to win the Heisman. It's something we've never seen before. Nobody's played two way like this. I mean, Charles Woodson played but not like this. And the mean um, the amount of snaps this dude plays absurd hopefully that does not slow him down this year but heck he had at one point this season he had five straight games of at least it was a four straight games of at least 100 yards catching he had five games this season so far with 100 yards and that was the first four of the season and then he's got this game in Cincinnati where he had his fifth game with 100 yards receiving and so look 60 catches 757 yards eight touchdowns monster season for him and then he's forcing fumbles he's getting interceptions he's defending passes dude look he's all over the place so y'all should be excited let me know what y'all think hop in the comments we want to hear from you all on that so do y'all think travis has a chance of really making it to new york do you think that they're going to respect him for enough of that but let me ask you this one too do you think that travis can get big 12 Offensive and defensive player of the week in the same week before the season is up. Let us know what you think. Shout out to Bet US. They're hooking up the, the gamer 150% bonus up to $2,000 on your first deposit. Use our promo code YouTube150. Thanks for sponsoring the show. All right, we'll talk some more about what's been going on this week. We've got a few more videos coming down the line. Got a couple guests going to pull up. It's a bye week, so it's going to be quiet. But we'll make some magic happen for you all. So make sure you check out the last video we dropped, our reaction from the last game, as well as sub and hit that bell notification so you don't miss none of the content. We'll chop it up with y'all a little later. Be easy, Boulder.